recording, we will see how a test database analyst uses IBM Stored IQ to actively manage repository cleanup and compliance requirements for a newly delivered product. Matt, the test database analyst, has identified obsolete virtual images that are causing performance problems with corporate repositories. Using filters and overlays, Matt manages the data to ensure that proper action is taken to clean up the repository. After he has resolved that problem, Matt identifies key information from the most recent testing effort. He then consolidates key test documentation and results so they can be archived in compliance with company policy. Matt begins his cleanup effort by selecting the Corporate Repositories InfoSet. He is presented with the view of the Corporate Repositories InfoSet, where he knows that the miscellaneous category includes the virtual images that he has targeted for his cleanup efforts. Because the virtual images were created during the last testing cycle, Matt selects filters based on the appropriate date range of the test and the owner of the project. While previewing the info set, Matt notices that the miscellaneous category is still the dominant category. For his cleanup efforts, Matt targets obsolete virtual images for the new product by selecting the appropriate file extension and full text release filters. Matt then creates a virtual images info set for this material. Prior to taking any action, Matt views the newly created Virtual Images info set. He moves this info set to a staging repository where it will be maintained for a short period of time prior to deletion. As this action will resolve the performance problems with the repository, Matt selects to act immediately. He reviews the details of the execution log, showing that the move of these obsolete virtual images was completed successfully without exceptions. With the repository performance problems resolved, Matt begins to identify, consolidate, and archive final test materials to meet compliance requirements. Matt returns to the corporate repository's info set, where he notes that the size of the repository has decreased significantly due to his cleanup efforts. Matt creates a new filter using the auto classify option to identify test documents such as specifications, plans, and status reports. In this case, the classification engine has identified these documents with a confidence level of 90%. Matt previews the info set and observes that the majority of the data is identified as word processing documents. Matt further refines this view by creating a new keyword filter that will identify the final versions of test documents. Because compliance regulations require these materials to be archived, Matt creates a new test documentation info set. He does a quick review and validates that the results are what he expected. Having identified the test documentation, Matt returns to the corporate repository info set to identify the specific results of the testing effort. Because he knows that logs created during quality assurance and testing are compressed per company policy, he creates the appropriate file extension filter. Using the filter, Matt notices that all the data is identified as container files and archives. Matt uses additional full text filters to further identify and refine the info set to contain test logs related to the newly promoted product. He then creates a new test results info set containing results logs that are required to demonstrate successful test execution. Having created info sets for both test documentation and test results, Matt uses the union capability to combine these two info sets into a single new info set. Matt creates the new Compliance Requirements info set, which includes all of the test documentation and results. He reviews the results of this combined info set. Matt then audits the work he has just completed to ensure that he's collected all of the material required for compliance. Matt creates a compliance report documenting his identification and consolidation efforts and results. He then emails the compliance report to the test assurance, legal, and risk management teams. Matt moves the Compliance Requirements info set to the Archive Repository where it will be maintained per company policy requirements. Matt then reviews the details of the execution log, confirming that the action was completed and the content was archived without any exceptions. Today we have seen how a test database analyst was able to identify, analyze, consolidate, and manage his information in order to actively manage his repository and comply with company requirements. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.